Hello everybody, Brian Holder here with WYSIWYGpages.com, uh, your number one source for WYSIWYG web builder templates, extensions, and soon our course club is going to be launching. Uh, today what I want to do is talk about the Facebook comments extension that we have and how we can take those extension or that uh, those comments and make them responsive. Uh, the way that uh, Wizzy, or the way that Facebook rather uh, deploys their commenting system, it's you have to set a, a width to it. Um, so when you try to add that onto a responsive page, uh, it doesn't work too well. Um, but there is a nice little workaround for that, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So here we are looking at a demo page that I've put together. Uh, we just have a little bit of content here, pretend like it's an article maybe, and uh, a little sidebar here, just some shapes to make it look like there's a sidebar. And what we're going to do is add the Facebook comments plugin or uh, extension here. So I'm going to drop this out here. And it's a fairly simple setup. All we're going to do is drag it out and make it the width that we want it to be. And I believe it's going to be, yep, 800 pixels. And we'll give it a little bit of height so that way there's some room for folks to comment. And we'll just make it a simple, I don't know, 740 looks good. Um, now you need to know what the width is that you drug this out because we need to replicate that within the plugin settings. Um, you can get that right here in the properties box. It'll say 800, that's going to be the width. 740, that's going to be the height of the object. So we're going to come in here and we're going to make this 800. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we need to set the URL. And so I'm going to be using the demo page URL, which is going to be https colon slash slash demo dots. pages.com slash fbook extension example slash test.php okay and now the reason that we set this URL is because that is how the Facebook comments plugin knows which comments on Facebook to display for that page um, it doesn't automatically know so if you use this plugin or this extension on multiple pages you need to make sure you update that otherwise uh, the comments are going to be the exact same on every single page and if you want that that's great um, that's fine you just use the same URL on every single page um, but we want ours to be a little bit different. And this is how we're going to be able to load the exact same comments in different um, breakpoints as well. Uh, number of posts. This is going to be the number of comments that you have that appear. I'm going to set that to 10. The language code. You can get this from this URL right here. Facebook.com slash translations slash Facebook locals.xml and if you need to change that from the English language to your native language then uh, you can grab that code there put that in and it'll convert the uh, plugin uh, when it's published to the language of your choice of course the color scheme uh, you have light and dark that does not change the color necessarily of the plugin um, what you're doing is you're saying is this plugin on a light background or is it on a dark background if you're on a dark background you can select dark um, <clears throat> what it's going to do is change the links and some of the icons to a lighter color so that way they appear nicer on a dark background uh, we're on a white background so we're going to pick light and we're going to hit ok and we're just going to quickly publish this page so we can check it out um, this does not work in the demo mode um, or in the preview mode it needs to be a published page and that was pretty quick not too much on this page now we can preview it and here is the page here's our content here's our sidebar we come down to the bottom here's our comment section right so now we can uh, add a comment this is my first comment and the nice thing about this is that the user has the option to also post that on Facebook too which is good for uh, you know sharing as well get you some uh, uh, visibility on the social networks okay so there's our comment it appeared there pretty simple pretty easy uh, fully featured commenting system and it literally couldn't be any easier for you to set that up uh, so now I have some breakpoints down here I'm using a 760 breakpoint and a 310 so what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you how this doesn't work we're gonna take this Facebook comments and we're gonna drop it in to our spot here and I'm gonna go ahead and resize this and then we'll go ahead and do that on this mobile breakpoint as well and you'll see that the the design mode here is uh, absolutely responsive um, we can change it give me one sec here 
310. So you'll see that we have this at a 310 width, and here it's that width. On the main page, it stays the wide width. So it absolutely appears on the outside um, to be responsive when in fact it, it isn't when we publish it. Um, give me one second here. I want to make sure I get rid of that. I have an anchor on here, and we'll go over that here in a minute. I'm just hiding that guy. We don't need him on the other breakpoints. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish this page again with this update for the responsive. <clears throat> Okay, and now when we drop this down, we'll go to uh, our tablet mode here. You'll see that this is responsive. The page still looks great, and we come down to the bottom, but you'll see that this Facebook Comments plugin is still that 800 pixels wide. So on a tablet, this is going to overflow off the page, and it's going to get cut off right here. The user will have to scroll over to see everything on the side. And, of course, once we come down... To our mobile breakpoint, you'll see it's even worse. Okay, the user would have to scroll all the way over to hit the uh, hit the button to submit their comment, post a comment. So, how do we make that responsive? Well, what we need to do is change that pixel value that we inserted into the settings. But unfortunately, if we change that in the default mode, it's going to change on all the other modes. So, what we need to do is actually replicate this uh, comments and hide it on all the other pages. All right, so to do that, what we're going to do is simply right-click. And I'm, in, um, I'm using version 11.5.0. Some of the older versions don't have, I don't believe, this clone and hide. I think this is a newer one. Uh, so make sure you're using the most recent version. You can download that for free at WYSIWYGWebBuilder.com. And uh, as long as you have a, uh, a legal license for version 11, you should have no problem installing and using that, the latest version. So what I'm going to do is hit clone and hide. And that's going to plop a whole new extension here. You'll see that I now have test extension 2. And the first one was test extension 1. So now I can go in and I can change this to our new width, which is 390. Hit OK. And I need to go to the default page. And I need to find the second extension. You see you have a second extension added now. And I'm just going to bring it up so where it's high enough in the content so that the page isn't too tall. And you can go anywhere. It doesn't matter where because we're going to hide it. Just like that. Hit that hide button. Okay, now we need to do the same thing on the 310 viewport. We're going to take that uh, this wider one and we're going to hide it, get rid of it. And we're going to take this, right click, clone and hide. So now this is the new one. And you'll see test extension 3. So this is a new object. And we're going to change that 800 over to 310, which is the width I'm using. You can use whichever width your mobile um, breakpoint is. And the reason we have that anchor um, is because technically the comments should go directly below the content. But the problem is the, co the comments, you're going to have a look, couple comments up here at the top and a bunch of white space. And it's going to look awful weird with your sidebar uh, having all this white space below it. Um, vice versa, if the comments was, were above that, then, you know, as people continue to comment on the page over time, the comments are going to continue to grow and grow and grow, and eventually uh, they're going to overtake the, the sidebar. It's going, to look, it's going to look bad, and it's going to take a lot of maintenance. So what we want to do is put the comments on the very bottom so that they can continue to grow. Um, and what we did was I just added a link that only shows up on the mobile to take people to the comments if they want. Um, <clears throat> skip the sidebar. Okay, so now we need to go back to both these other uh, uh, other breakpoints, the default and the mobile, and we need to find that additional extension, which I think may be too low on this page. We've got to go find it. This was extension 3. Um, let's see, let's see if we can load it in this way. We want to change the height. I'm just going to get rid of a number and bring it up to 425. And see there it is so now it's up here and we can hide it and the same on this breakpoint it's hiding all the way down here so we're going to bring it up to 425 or whatever it is and make sure it's up in the content and hide it and now i have three separate 
extensions on each page but they all use that same url so they're all going to load the same comments and it's going to give it um you know the appearance that this is responsive so let's go ahead and publish this and we'll take a quick look one last time make sure everything is on the up and up here let's close out the old one so we don't get confused so now we come down and our comments are still loading here they are one comment on this page so we'll go ahead and say this is my second comment having fun we'll post okay and now we can test this breakpoint and let's uh, go to this one now you see there's our comments everything looks good and this may need to refresh to load that second comment Just give it a little refresh because remember the comment we were looking for was loaded when the page loaded it was just hidden so that second comment wasn't technically loaded at the time so there's our second comment in there which is perfect and we go to our mobile come down bottom of content eh, where's the comments oh there they are and there's our second comment and everything looks great so that's how we're going to make uh, facebook comments that we're using to be um, responsive and technically you have to have uh, three different uh, objects um, only viewable on one viewport so that way we can have three different widths in there and we just got to make sure that the URL that we're using in the properties of each one is the same now just to show you real quick let's go ahead and clone this page and I'm going to make this page um, another page so I'll just name it another okay and now what we're going to do is come down here and we'll change the URL to another, which will be this page URL. And I'm going to change the title real quick. I'm going to put another in there so that we know which page we're on because they're going to look the same otherwise. And give this a minute. There's a lot of text, so this will kind of freeze and do some silly stuff for a minute. Leave a comment below, too. I'd love to know if uh, your version of WYSIWYG Web Builder does that when you have a lot of text, if it kind of locks up like that for a few. I'm curious to know if that's a, something with my computer or something with the program. All right, so let's go ahead and publish uh, this. We're publishing the entire site with this. And what we're going to see real quick is that there are no more comments. Um, on the another page, it's going to be a fresh with no comments. So here we are, another let's go to the bottom let the comments load zero comments now remember we only changed the URL on the default breakpoint the mobile and the tablet versions still have the old URL so let's see what happens when we go to those breakpoints there's the two comments and we're on the another page right so even though we changed it on the default. We didn't change it on the other two. And since it's referring back to the old URL and we didn't update that, it's going to load those old comments. So it's important to remember that when you create a new page, especially if you're cloning an old page, that you change that URL on every single breakpoint. Otherwise, you're going to have those types of errors. All right, so hopefully you found this, uh, this little demonstration helpful. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Those always uh, keep me motivated to want to do more. Um, and I will catch you. Uh, next time. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.